Hello and welcome to Hypothetical Hypocrite, a channel where I'm a hypocrite but I'm hypothetical about it. My name is Jeremy and here I play video games and just plain try to be entertaining. If you didn't see the title, I'm going to be playing some more Fallout 4 for you. I've enjoyed this game quite a bit and it's, and it's you know, fulfilled its money's worth, you know, at this point. And hopefully if you guys have watched along, you've enjoyed it as well. And if you do, please remember to uh, hit the like and subscribe buttons, leave a comment and share. Any one of those would be great, but all four would be amazing just like you are. And with that being said, let's finish up with Nuka World. Because that's where we left off last time. Also, uh, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all my posts. If you do enjoy the content, you won't want to miss anything. What the? Well, if I went just five minutes longer in the last video, I would have realized that was the end of New Code World. Okay? It's what people do when they're exhausted. Ever since you guys took over, you've been working us around the clock. What do you expect us to do? We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. Hey we there. provide Not security. To hurt the other Without gangs. us, you'd be food no for the bloodworms. You other. can either do your job. Hey no! Over, boss. No, I'll, um, Making trouble? I'll get Good. back to work. That's better. Okay. So what are we doing here? I'm carrying too much and can't run. Um. Hey, a Nuka Cola just sitting out in the open. Oh, okay. It's always nice to get rads. Well, we're going to have to search this entire place. What is this place? Sweet. Rat poison. about trying my hand at the gauntlet just to see if I could do it. <laughs> Waste of time now. No one's stopping your performance. We'd all considered putting the bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. You just think so, huh? Oh, no, that's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to talk to her, dumbass. Hey. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself. How high were they when they built this place? Hey, some tickets. Never did get why Coulter brought in three gangs to claim Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the rest. Well, who knows?
place is huge. You haven't seen anything that's um out of the ordinary around here, have you? Maybe something hidden, shaped like a bottle cap. I thought we told you to keep your ass at the market. If you're looking for something, you can find it there, like everyone else. I'm not here for the market. I didn't travel hundreds of miles to go shopping. I don't suppose you came here for a bullet in the brain either. So if you want to live, I suggest you stay where you belong. Oh, you guys are real friendly, aren't you? Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Nuka World! I've always dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it! This place is amazing, don't you think? <laughs> How is this place amazing? How? Just look around. Don't you see it? You can just imagine the children smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka Cola and having the time of their lives. It must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the capital wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka Cola museum? You run a Nuka Cola museum? Absolutely. I spent years collecting all the Nuka Cola merchandise I could find. It's all on display at my home in a settlement called Girder Shade. I give tours to anyone who stops by. And I can promise you this you won't find another collection like mine in the Capital Wasteland, the Commonwealth, or any place else. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. What are you searching for? I don't really want to say. It's nothing personal. I, I just don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. Oh, you can trust me. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka-Cola fan. I've been obsessed with this stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find. Like these awesome cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. Gosh. And the winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself. Who was John Caleb Bradburton? Sorry. I tend to forget most people aren't as interested in the history of Nuka-Cola as I am. <laughs> he was an inventor, Bullets whizzing by. And the best thing he ever invented was... You guessed it! Nuka-Cola! So, to win the contest, you had to find ten images of Cappy, the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well, I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world. And it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. What's in it for me? I was just getting to that part. Brad Burton didn't just create soda formulas. He was a genius who embedded all kinds of fantastic things. All I really care about is getting my hands on the Nuka-Cola formula. Any other inventions we find are yours to keep. So, what do you think? Well, sounds interesting. I think I'll help sure, you. Sure, why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. Yeah. You're new here after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest hollow tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka-Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting!
damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Hey. That last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Who the hell is shooting? Getting so close to me. I have free war money. What are you talking about? Don't I? Hey. Pre war money right there. Huh. Hilarious. I wonder if these tokens are gonna come in oh come in useful for some reason. Tokens and tickets. Probably to play the games inside of here. What am I thinking? At least we got a bunch of them. You're the new overboss, right? You yep. made an example out of Colton. And you are? Impressed. I've never seen anyone surviving cola cars for more than a minute. Of course, you did have a little help. Age was the one that clued you in. Yeah, I know all about it. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. I think Coulter got exactly what he deserved. So, you weren't loyal to Coulter? Hell no. Coulter was a goddamn idiot. With Coulter running the show, business was starting to dry up. Now that you're here, I'm betting everyone stands to make a lot more money. Speaking of which, I'm hoping you're here to spend a little bit of your own at the Nuka Cave. What exactly is this place? It's my pride and joy. The one good thing that came out of getting stuck working for Coulter. Yeah, all of the amusements and games around you are working thanks to yours truly. I'm the only one that can take them apart and put them back together again. If I go, then it's only a matter of time before they fall apart. And all the cute little prizes you can win? Yeah, you can thank me for those too. How do I get started? Eager to play, eh? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Every game in the Nuka Kate still takes the original pre-war tokens. Just slot one into the machine and you're off. If your score is high enough, the machine will kick out a bunch of tickets which you can redeem at a prize terminal for all sorts of goodies. Sweet. Please tell me you sell the tokens. Of course I do. But that isn't the only way you can get them. You can also get tokens from the pre-war token machines in the Nuka Cave, but they only take pre-war money. And if you look around the parks hard enough, I'm betting you'll find a few here and there. I'll tell you what, just to officially welcome you to Nuka World, here's a token to get you started. Um... I don't know. You can do better. How about two? Yeah, sure. I suppose it couldn't hurt. May as well start off with you on the right foot. Well, I guess that's it. If you need anything, you just let me know. Oh, don't forget to take this with you, boss. That way you can't say I never did you any favors. <laughs> All right. What is this? Yes. Nice. What the hell am I supposed to do? Hmm. 
mine went up the slowest? Is that what's going on? Because I didn't hit it with the sprayer. tickets or 225 holy crap that's a bunch of tickets Wow, tickets are easy to get. All right, let's find out what else there is. is this oh price terminal let's see what we can get let's see if these tickets are worth anything We got to see what the top ones are. Acid soaker. Well, we got to get find out what that is. A mini nuke. A pack left arm. Let's see what the level four is. Missiles, some quartz, Nuka grape, different flavors of Nuka cola. Okay, level two. Just some souvenir stuff. And some more souvenir stuff. Alright. Now we know what they're worth. Ooh, ski ball. Ski ball. Find this one, right? Huh? Okay. Well, then that just suck. What the hell? Out of order. Well, 
What's this one? I don't think I'm supposed to be shooting these things, but yeah. Okay. I don't think I did that right. Or maybe I did, and I just don't know it. Well, I'm that one's not a very good game. Yeah, throwing games. I don't even know how to throw the damn ball. Okay, we're going to practice here a little bit. Oh, damn it. Nice. I kind of figured it out. Ah, I keep picking the balls up. Anyway, some more of the bopper games. So 44 rounds in the middle of an arcade. What is this? What? Damn it. Not too bad. Is that the end of it? How many did I get? 585, that's not bad. This is fun too. Downside is it takes up the ammo.
Damn it. Not bad. That should be the end. There we go. 729. Not bad. Moldy food. Cigarette machine. That one's pretty cool. I like that one. And that's all the games, huh? All right, we'll come back and have some fun with that some other time. Welcome back, boss. All right, finally. Damn, it's nighttime already. I played that amount of time. Man, I've been getting the shakes bad. I haven't slept in days. You've been hitting the jet pretty hard. With some of that new Colmex stuff, the Maddox. What'd you find? It'll set you right. Where are you at? No, this is the best buzz I ever had. <laughs> what are you barking at? Understanding. The oh, over here. You know how to live. The other gang? Dying. Understanding the operators ain't hard. You know how to live. The other gangs, dying is not their strong suit. You'd all consider putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. I thought about trying my hands at Gauntlet just to see if I could do it. Waste of time now. No one's topping your performance. Never did get White Culture brought in three gangs to claim Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the rest. Okay. Whatever you say. safe nice that's it heck yeah we'll take it all You never know what you're going to find sometimes, unless you look. Um, let's see. Uh-huh. Alright, I don't want to go through all of this.
Alright. Oh, I do want to check something, though. Oops. Which ones haven't we... Which ones haven't we listened to? So in a graveyard. All right. I'm not going to remember any of these. What is this? I think I've read this before, I've checked on this before. There's so many of these, and I know I haven't listened to them all. I'm going to have to do that one of these days on my own time. Maybe after this video. This is Del Walsh. I'm a paramedic in Nuka World's Infirmary Center, and this report is dated July 14, 2077. Now, I'd like to officially go on record to express my dismay at the current safety conditions of some of Nuka World's rides. I've just completed treating a patient who suffered multiple cuts and bruises after riding Mad Mulligan's minecart ride. Now in the last year alone, I've treated seven broken bones, nine major lacerations, 78 muscle injuries, and 166 minor lacerations, all due to ride malfunctions. And this does not include the two fatalities that have occurred, both of <laughs> which have been in the last six months. Listen, I understand that Project Cobalt has diverted some of our park's maintenance and security personnel and how important it is to the war effort. But we can't ignore the fact that safety has fallen off the radar at Nuka World, and something must be done about it immediately. Since my supervisors have chosen to ignore my concerns, I'll be forwarding this recording to Mr. Brad Burton's office personally. Oh, isn't he a serious guy? I still got to find out who the hell this idiot is who's shooting all over town. Okay. So we've checked out everything. Anything in here? Nope. Oh, empty blood pack. Pack and disciples. Bunch of amateurs playing dress up. Huh? Well, so, so let me get this straight. Some scaver makes it through the gun, takes out the boss, and now we're all supposed to be following? How does that work? We ain't even a raider. All I know is, Gage was in the mountain the other day and he had a real long talk with Misha. In private. Gage? How the hell with that guy? What's he ever done around here? Hey, I'm just telling you what I saw. You want to know more about what's going on? Then maybe you should ask Mason. <laughs> what do I look like? An idiot? Misha really only has one rule around here. Excuse me. Ain't no one sad about Coulter. Just don't screw this up. Okay. What's in Cappy's Cafe? Is this where we're gonna find one of the... Uh... Things? Sweep that patch again. 
Please, just leave me alone. I'll do my best, okay? Three rival gangs in one place. They're not killing each other. Oh, I got that. I'm sorry for bullshit. You gotta party like it's your last day. Every day. Just having a little fun, Granny. Keeping the kid on his toe. Making trouble. I give a mole rat's ass how many of you ladies there are. And here, it's my bar and my room. 44 rounds just Work laying hard, in. Play hard. That's the regular way. So, what are you drinking? What have you got? I got whatever liquor this rowdy bunch can get their hands on. From fine spirits to rot gut that'll put a fire in your belly. What will it be? I'll take a look, sure. Coming right up. Hey. She's got some stuff I'll take. Um. Oh, that's it. That's all she's got. And I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I'm supposed to hurt the yeah, other I'm gangs. here to trade, but I'm not letting my guard no down. Against tricking them into hurting each other, though. Hi. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'll stay in line. Hey there. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other. Though. Thirsty uh -huh. running the park. I thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet just to see if I could do it. <laughs> Waste of time now. No one's stopping your performance. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Uh huh. Oh, that's wicked. There we go. Nice. What is this? Doing my best to keep up with the mess. Not that I'm saying you're messy or any of the other raiders. It just, it, yeah, I'll huh? back to work. That's a big melon. I need to get rid of some of this junk. Considered putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. Hey. Never did get why Coulter brought in three gangs to claim Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the rest. It ain't easy keeping the zoo. We all do our part. <clears throat> the pack lets it all hang out. If you can take something, it's yours. I'm not looking for trouble, just just some good deals. You a sheep or a wolf? Because the pack only runs with wolves. <clears throat> if you're wearing a collar, it's because you asked for it. Ain't no one's a slave that don't want to be. Yeah. If you say so. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, 
How high were they when they built this place? Hey there. Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs? Dying is more their strong suit. Pack and disciples. Bunch of amateurs playing dress up. Overbossed, making trouble. Good. Keep those eyes peeled. Those cappies could be pretty well hidden. Don't have the key. Happy hunting! Never did get what filter brought in three games to claim Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the rest. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, how high were they when they built this place? You're gonna head on in, overboss. What's the parlor? Have I been in here or not? All anyone's turned up so far is that he's got that pit boy on his arm. So, the new overboss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Nice. Yeah, I haven't been in here yet. Pork and beans. A couple broken mirrors for bad luck. Toothpaste. Feather duster.
talking about some secret agreement between Gage and the gangs, saying whoever took down Coulter would take his place. You believe that? I didn't vote for this guy. How come he gets to be over boss? Because I'm I mean, a hell, pimp. If I'd known they were looking for somebody, I would have thrown my name into that hat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you think so? I can't wait to see what our new leader has planned. At least, can't be any worse than Coulter, right? Right? Right. They're all a bunch of psychopaths. And I love you for it. This is Raider Radio, and it's for you. What are you doing in here? Hey there. We'd all considered putting the bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. Okay. What the? Huh? Weird. Let's find out what that one said. Persuasion something. Damn, I got a bunch of stuff on me. So this will be test eight of the persuasion formula. Our subject here... What'd you say your name was again? Fuck you, Lizzie. When my crew finds out about this, they're gonna wear your skin. Okay, we're just gonna call you eight. Eight, would you please stop talking? Go to hell. You looking for the boss? As you can see, Eight is currently not receptive to my suggestions. Now, deploying the formula. Uh, what? What the? Hey! Hey, yourself. Eight, how do you feel right now? Fine. You looking for the boss? Good, I guess. That'd be nice. Excellent. Now, Eight? I'm going to untie your arm. Okay. Now, Eight, I want you to hit yourself. Hit myself? Please. Uh huh. Sadistic people, I tell you. That's perfect. Thank you, Eight. You can stop now. Thank you. You're welcome. Eight, I'm going to untie you. Now, if you wouldn't mind. Eight! <laughs> what are you. Uh oh. Are you an idiot? Did you really think that shit would work? I'm gonna eat your. <laughs> Thank you, William. I'm. Going to need a minute before you bring in number nine. That's a hell of a test. I tell you. Let's try and unlock this bad boy. These things are always fun, aren't they? Alright, we always have to do our first three guesses. So huge, sink, rush. That's it. Boom, we got it. Ooh, baby, we got it. Persuasion formula test notes. First go of the formula was a flop. This subject, William, supplied me with. Turns out he was a jethead. Pretty sure that's what caused the reaction to formula that he suffered. Kill himself seizing. Broke some of my equipment in the process. We'll need to account for that in future batches. 
don't want to have to replace this stuff again. Just hope I didn't risk my neck sneaking into the far reaches of the galactic zone for nothing. Alright. Second subject was another heavy drug user. What else are we going to find around here? But no seizures this time. Spraying the target was with the formula, however, doesn't seem to have made persuading her any easier. Now, once I injected it, I feel like she started listening more attentively. But it was hard to tell over the screaming. On to test three, I suppose. Finally, some real results. This subject was older, female, in her 40s. Looks like some kind of farmer or something equally awful. Applied the, gla the gas and for a good minute was able to get her to agree with a series of increasingly less reasonable suggestions. Hand me that pen. Take off your shoes. Take off your clothes. She balked when I asked her to start mutilating herself, but still, progress. Going to have William prepare a room. I think our guest will be staying for a while. Alright. More general testing with Mrs. Farmer, who Williams taken to calling Williams has taken to or William has taken to calling Annette after the janitor that disappeared back when we were all still living in Diamond City. Progress continues though I'm finding that persuasion is still crucial to getting what I want. If I can't sell why my de demands are a good idea, there's a little there's little chance for my suggestions to take hold. How however when offered correctly, I've managed to get Annette to put herself to at greater and greater risk. Particular fun was when I succeeded in convincing her to pick the pocket of a disciple in the in the market. Disciple managed to take a chunk out of Annette before I could intervene, but nothing some gauze and antiseptic couldn't patch up. Made sure to give the disciple's description to William. Can't stand it when people damage my toys. Really? Decided it was time to to run a real test of the formula. I'd order Annette to do a task outside the parlor, unsupervised. Give her the chance to run and see if she'd actually return. First step was, of course, getting her in a state where she'd want to run. After a few days of pain, I gave her a dose and asked her to collect some ingredients for me from the market, all by herself. Almost. William was watching from the rooftop just in case she did decide to run and so we sat a minute two minutes three waiting in the parlor with mags i could see the disapproving frown start to edge in at the corners of her mouth but five full minutes later who comes limping back into the parlor lovely annette arms full of that exactly what i asked even set a new duration record for a single dose of the formula now unfortunately the wound she sustained during her prep ended up getting the best of her not long after but still we all knew a success when we saw one so she died <coughs> new subject after our positive results with Annette Mags requested some broader testing first up the market while perusing Maddox's stall I let a canister slip out of my bag not sure if it was the noise smells or a dozen other possible issues but the test went nowhere Maddox responded to exactly zero of my demands. I was hoping I could finally do the whole park a favor and get him to cut off the ugly top knot. That ugly top knot. Seems it was not to be. Test 7. More failure. Mags wanted to see if we might be able to perhaps use the formula to get one of the local Brahmin trains to favor us with some additional supplies, but with no success. Another scenario to cross off the list. Oops. Test 8. This batch had apparently gone bad without me realizing it. Got the bruises to show for it. Okay, so that's the tape that we listened to. And here's nine, finally another success. William brought me in another farmer who responded much the same as Annette did. A thread to follow, it would seem. And test ten. And we have our results. Caravans, no. Markets, no. But settlements, it would appear, are what this formula was made for. 
Maybe it's the exhaustion brought on by manual labor, the bad water, but something about that environment, Annette's wretched environment, appears to favor the gas. I decided to track I'd track my way back to Test Subject 9's little dirt pit and see what I could get to happen when I deployed the gas. Before I knew it, I had them feeding me their winter stores, handing over whatever caps they had, and ultimately convincing them their Brahmin Stai, Brahmin stai was better in my hands. Off they shuffled, sad, but unable to refuse. And the looks on their faces, truly something to behold. Well, isn't that just messed up? Some messed up testing going on here. Can I start singing? Huh? What's over here? Some fashionable sunglasses. 25 Nuka tickets. Nuka Cola quartz. Hey, a wig, feather duster, nice little tuxedo, cool sunglasses, parlor employees terminal, performance list, Phantom of the Nuka, the best little Nuka house in Boston, a soft drink named <laughs> Desire, Fizzy Rob. All right. With the cut and staff are going to have to ask all of the stage technicians to perform janitorial work. That means sweeping, cleaning, dishes, fixing, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Nothing too interesting. Pretty little thing. Hey, some caps. Fourteen of them to be exact. Maggie, it's your mother. Mother, it's Mags. Move out my way, you turd. Actually, let's see if the computer has anything to do with unlocking this safe. Alright, so pick our first three shotguns. There you go. Boom! Didn't even have to try. Major players, Nuka World, Nisha, Disciples, Coulter, Idiot. No one's problem anymore. Nice. Unaffiliated Gage. One half of the alleged mastermind behind the Nuka World plant. Clearly as much of a rube as the rest of us. It does seem like the, he honestly believed in Coulter. Now, though, just seems worried he's going to share Coulter's fate if, he, if things don't get back on the track. Not wrong. Undoubtedly moved on this new overboss to protect his own neck. However, man genuinely does appear to believe that Nuka World can be used to make us all rich. So does have... Some, so it does have some value. Ma Mason Peck, current Peck Alpha, discipline displaced his two predecessors by tarring and feathering them, sending them out into the wastes. Peck law states members can only shame one another, never kill. Both former Alphas were never heard from again after being given the boot. Acquiring proof of their deaths could be useful leverage. We'll send out a search party, see what they can, can turn up. Otherwise, man's more nuisance than threat, like the rest of the pack. All right. Nisha, Disciples, taken by raiders at a young age, believes deeply in the power of violence, makes her a dangerous adversary. That said, has a pen, penchant for justice among her own. Stole gang from previous leader by gaining their respect rather than through graft or deception. Irritatingly hard to, to exploit people like that. Ultimately acts as a stabilizi stabilizing agent among the disciples. Means Nisha's place in their hierarchy should not be tampered with. Dull, but the right move. 
Any other dis disciple in that role would likely lead to utter havoc. Dixie springs to mind. Dixie. True psychopath. Nice. Clever, devious, bloodthirsty. Suspect suspects she's responsible for the death of at least three operators since our arrival. Very likely more. Takes and treasures souvenirs from her victims. Someone meddling with her toys might be able to get her to do something rash, rash should the need arise. Granted her current position by Nisha, probably to support the girl's vanity. Much less likely to turn on her boss as she thinks she's respected. Thanks to that, she does seem to honor Nisha's authority. Doesn't appear to have plans to claim leadership for herself. Best for all of us, it stays that way. And finally, Savoy, as a disciple, Nisha's enforcer, fiercely loyal, likely the only reason a man's been given a place of prominence among their little coven. Had one of the girls attempt to seduce him, see if we might be able to sway him as a contact button to no avail. Had one of the boys try to, similar results, suspect, suspect he's probably working for or with the only person he has eyes for would explain the loyalty there we go and there's the gossip around town boom yes we'll just take it all take it all mine all mine sweet bunch of ammo and a gangster oh yeah we had a hollow tape mother it's mags Sounds tough. Maggie, it's your mother. I want you to know, your father and I, we take no pleasure in this decision. But at this point, we don't have a choice. You and Bill have dragged the black name through the muck for the last time. What they say you two and that Wyeth girl did to those classmates of yours. True or not, defending you both again and again. It's gotten to the point we can barely do business in this town anymore. You two have cost us so much. And are you repentant? Are you sorry? Of course not. Well, we are through defending you. You're going to accept the exile the town demands. You're going to leave Diamond City for good. And you will never, ever see another cap from your father or I again. You had every chance in the world to make this right, Maggie. Well, we are done giving you chances. That's a broken family, that's for sure. Yeah, I need to get somewhere and and unload this all this gear. Yeah, I've already checked all these areas. Oh, 
normally have a brisk visitors. All right. You get spec. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Okay. Don't get caught. This place is huge. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Hey there. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Uh huh. Boom. Got it. Nice. For deck, another thing to listen to. Or Deke. What am I thinking? Hey, Deke. It's me, Clark. I don't get pissed off. I know you were expecting to meet up with me, and instead, you found this hollow tape. Well, sorry, buddy, but I just couldn't take the chance that you'd double cross me. So, I've decided to split the goods up myself and just leave your share somewhere else. I'm gonna head west with my share, see if the sunset folks are buying. But, uh, you might do that better selling the stuff to the Vim people up in Maine. The key I've stashed with this hollow tape should get you into the footlocker under the bridge near the bottling plant. Good luck. Okay. It'll it'll get me into somewhere. Just exploring and I'll I'll find it. You think there'd be something secret back here? But nope. Take all the souvenirs that I don't have yet. Oh. Anything back here? Nope. You're fine. See, and this is why you search everything. You never know what you're going to find. All right, so we got to go That's supposed to take us up. Okay. Now you see, couldn't 
letter insult stand, but he wasn't ready to just up and storm the town and risk killing Hope in the process. In my opinion, Hope is no Whoa, a whole bunch of light bulbs. Spot for some power Watch armor, yourself, huh? Boss, because we sure will be. Really? I ain't scared of you. What's in here? I'm just having fun exploring. There's so many different things to find. And expanding the story. What the hell? We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, not much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. <laughs> Don't look like much to me. Oh, it's the boy. And Nisha. Hey. You guys are gruesome. Shut up. I'm just going to pick up everything. Hey there. So, you're Gage's little pet project. Pet project? What's that supposed to mean? Gage didn't say anything. Apparently, we're not good enough to run this place ourselves. Gage wanted to bring in his own little puppy to replace Coulter. But I guess training a puppy is way easier than getting us to do what he wants. Last I checked, I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet. You killed Coulter, with Gage's help, of course. So sure, you're the overboss. But that title hasn't meant anything for a long time now. If Gage thinks that'll change overnight, he's dead wrong. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. What do you mean by keeping the peace? It means do what you want, but don't get caught. The last thing I need is the operators and Pat breathing down my neck. We can take either of them one on one, but I don't like my odds when it comes to double duty. So keep the peace. It's the only rule we need. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. How many lives has this gauntlet claimed? Who's counting? It's at least enough to keep the traders busy. We like to send them in to clean out the bodies whenever things get ripe in there. They don't always make it out alive, of course. The gauntlet never sleeps. That thing should be shut down. It's dangerous. Dangerous? P 
People are dangerous. That thing's child's play. Just a bunch of traps and critters. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here, and never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. Are you questioning me? You're over, boss? Not questioning. Just curious. We were wrong about Coulter. We won't make the same mistake twice. I'm the best there is. Willing to bet your life on that? You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair, or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, Damn. I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. How can you even see with that helmet on? Let's threaten her. Promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. Let's see how this plays out. For now. Huh. If you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. All right, so she gives me some side quests. You may run Nuka World and stuff like that. Disciple territory. We're in charge here. Sweet. So she gives me some side missions that I can do. But for now, let's. Continue searching this, uh... Hey! Please! Let me go! Crazy place. Okay. Oop. Killing beats stealing any day. Nothing beats that rush. You think so? Okay, get in there. Can't get in there either. We get more gauntlet runners soon. Need some excitement around here. What are you doing over here? Hey. Best thing about wearing a mask? Not having to look like I can when people talk to me. All right. Always keep your knife sharp. No one likes sloppy work. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Hey, I thought I checked over here. Guess not. What's upstairs? are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Killing beats stealing any day. That was so good. Man, I love that. I if I hear them pack good. animals talking good. trash one more time, they're gonna wake up short a few body parts. Hey, it's your main man, Red Eye, here, sending out some big congratulations to our brand new overboss. <laughs>
All that time in front of a mirror, and the operators still don't know they look like fools. Bless their little hearts. Huh. You're a crazy one. Well, let's start listening to them tapes. Hey, Ruth. Sammy just came back with this girl, Dixie, and brought the best news ever. She said she comes from a place where we'll be safe and protected, called Nuka World. Finally. I am so tired of trying to live out here on our own. Dealing with raiders, finding food, and just surviving. We're packing up to leave, and we're out of here. I, I wanted to leave this message for you. It's awfully sweet of y'all to welcome a stranger into your home. Uh, you've no idea how happy we are that we're ready into you. Not as happy as I am. What are you doing? Wait, I thought you were here to... Oh... Um, okay. Sam, no! What have you done? Oh, don't worry, honey. I'll never keep two lovebirds apart. No! No! Ah, that went well. These people are sadistic. I think I'll keep you as my little souvenir. Hell no. What's Nisha's terminal I have to say? You know, take our first three guesses. Okay, it's none of them, so let's find our way through this puzzle. Okay. Okay. Just re upped our our tries. We're narrowing it down. So it's either warriors or assemble. I'm through. Assemble it is. Anyone caught using this terminal that isn't Nisha will be dealt with. All right. Reminder to self: there are no warnings here. Anyone who violates the rule or betrays the disciples deserves worse than death. Ruby. Rumors are saying Ruby's stealing from our own. Not sure what pisses me off more: that she's stealing from us or that she got caught. Either way, I don't have any proof besides Paige's claim, and Paige was probably too high on Jet to trust. Going to let this sit for now and see how it goes. Josie. Savoy found the remains of what looks like Josie's handiwork. I have one rule here, people. Why is it so damn hard to follow? When you hide a body, not only do you make sure it's hidden, you make sure it's really dead. Savoy said the pack guy was halfway back to Nuka Town when he found him. No solid proof that it is that it was Josie besides the fact that she and this guy got into it the other day. Wow. Samuel, if you're not Nisha, you're, you're dead. <laughs> nice. Samuel seems to forget who's in charge here and likes to question my decisions. He's smart enough to not challenge me directly. I, and I'm sure he knows if he tried to take me out, Savoy and Dixie would never follow him. He's trouble, though. Reminds me of Sledge and he's new, so he doesn't know what went down back then. But if he keeps it up, he can learn the hard way, just like Sledge did. Carrie. 
on watch for a different reason. Carrie has a bit of a conscience. Stopping, stopped going on raids, barely leaves Fizz Top. Something's up with her. She's either realized this isn't the life for her, or she's been compromised. And if I find out she's turned traitor, I'm going to enjoy every moment I have, I have tearing her apart. Nice. Reports. Collected reports from members. Town remains. Remains of an old abandoned town south of Nuka World called Bradburton. Should be good for standard supplies, but nothing of real interest. Hebologists. Val said some crazies calling themselves Hebologists have taken over the old cafe by the giant fire hydrant. I gotta admit, I'm inclined to leave them be. Fanatics are always destructive in their own ways. They could be good entertainment from a distance. Grandchester. Ooh, a mystery mansion. Dixie found an old roadside attraction called the Grandchester Mystery Mansion. She said it looks to be in, in decent condition, co complete with an annoying ticket-taking protector on, so it's worth looking into. She had a few slaves in tow, so didn't investigate further. We'll need to put a team together to check it out at some point. Sounds cool. Good thing we looked into that and read that, huh? Alright, so that's it. Thought there'd be I'm more sure to it. Worse. Wearing a tie or wearing a teddy bear. Huh? Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. a few strings if someone like you is in charge. All right. Oh yeah, we didn't listen to all of what she had to say here. But we do need to check the map. down on Val. What happened? I was out of smoke since she didn't want to hook me up. Hell, in that case, she deserved it. It was a lot worse for a cigarette. <laughs> that last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. I need to find somewhere to to dump all this stuff. Okay. So now we're looking for a work workbench of some sort to drop off all the stuff we have in our inventory currently.
Can we do it that at the cooking one, station? Too fast. Oh. We gotta look for something here real quick. Nuka Cola bottle. Pre war money. We wanna keep on us for now. Um I don't see Nuka War tokens. So let's get rid of some of these weapons. Let's get rid of these mines. I don't use any of them. For some reason, I don't think I need that one. Press 50 cal. Nice. Now we got a bunch of apparel. And that's something we got to find out. We need to get some. Dang. Let's 
So much stuff. I've never used those re robot repair kits before, so I'm just going to put them away. Alright, so that's unloading us quite a bit. Dang, I got a bunch of fusion cores. Bunch of missiles. Holy crap. I'm loaded. Sh thousand shotgun, eleven hundred shotgun shells. Holy crap. Alright, I still need to lose weight. Um. I need to get rid of this stuff. I'm losing my touch. <sighs> Damn it. Alright. We're going to do this. Um. I gotta get out of here. Sweet. So it's a mini map within a map. Cool. Now let's go drop off all our gear. <laughs> How I wanted it done in the first place. Look at all these lovely skins. So, you ready to Now let's transfer over. Look at it. Look at that badass thing. Oh yeah. Now we can transfer over everything. Um I don't think I need that one.
Alright, now our apparel. Oops. We want to get that pre-war money back. So much stuff in this game. Holy crap. Fifteen hundred and ninety. I'm rich. That's I am rich. What is putting me over? What is putting me over on weight? You know what? Let's do this. I gotta. We gotta finish out listening to uh, what's her face's souvenir, Dixie's souvenir. I had it out with that disciple chick again today, Anna. I'm tired of her always winning. She's got better aim, better comebacks, even packs a better punch. Well, not for long. Fuck these rules. I'm going after her. Then, when she's floating face down in the swamp pond, we'll see who's better. I can't wait to see. What the hell? How'd you get in here? What? A girl's got her ways. I'm just here because Anna's big into helping Nisha keep the peace between all us gangs. Me? Not so much. What the? That should keep you quiet till I get you back to Fizz Top. Oh, were you recording this just for little old me? You operators are such sweethearts. Huh? One's night vision, one's not. We don't need that one. I don't think we, ah, uh, we'll keep it on us. These things are so much lighter, but what's their damage difference? Yeah, see, some of these still hit harder. Alright, that should be enough for now. All right. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Look at my badass armor over here. Got it all pimped out the way I want it. God, they look cool. I just like looking at them. But this is this one's badass. This is my my pimp armor. 
this was a nice addition. I gotta admit. Don't much care for good neighbor. Still have a that bunch of these to go. But we'll get them eventually. We'll find them all. I've never lost anyone before. This failure is new to me. Alright, let's head back to Nuka World. Super mutants just hit the place. And that's where We're we want to go. Should be easy pickings. Please, just caught one of the oh, traders no. stealing food. Yeah? What you do to <laughs> What'd you find? Hacking disciples. Bunch of amateurs what? playing dress up. What are you showing me, you card? Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. What am I missing? No against tricking them into hurting each other. I thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet just to see if I could do it. <laughs> Waste of time now. No one's stopping your performance. What are you making, having me look at? Remember, you won't see hidden cappy codes without the glasses. Make sure you're wearing them while you search. with a key okay so what's the code lock for okay anyway where are we trying to go we still got a ways to go not supposed to hurt the other gangs no rule against tricking them into hurting each other things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up I ain't no fan of playing nights with others I don't think I looked in here before. Bye, dog meat. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Colter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is un... What? Gage. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Colter had some peculiar tastes but this view is something huh everything you see here is under your control now that you're in charge yeah i still don't get it why put me in charge you may have noticed that our former overboss coulter was a fucking asshole and that's me being nice ended up being poisoned for this whole operation the way i see it Surviving the gauntlet means you've got what it takes. Or at least the potential. For a good while now, we've needed someone who can get shit done. 
make real progress. I sure do like the sound of that. I thought you might. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? What sort of talents would you say you have, Gage? Aside from being a good shot and having a foul mouth, I've run with gangs nearly my whole life. I know how raiders think, what they're after, and how to use that to your advantage. Trust me, I'm in this just as much as you are. This shit needs to work out. I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Felt a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate, take over Nuka Town, get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was, is, a real mess. Wait. What kind of mess am I walking into here? It was little shit at first. Heated tempers, arguments, the occasional shooting. Got worse over time, though. Gangs started staking out as much territory as they could. All being on top of each other like this. Started looking for excuses to turn on each other. If something ain't done soon to settle things down, it's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. The pack, hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. What happens after they're on my side? Then, we get started on taking over the rest of Nuka World. But... One step at a time. You in? Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. From what I hear, you've got a head start on things already. Just talk to the rest of the gang leaders. Smooth things over, and we're good. I'll be here if you need me. All right. What did you find? What, a safe? I would have found it on my own.
Huh? Everything was useful. Cigarettes and cigar box, gold watch. A fusion core. Nice. So I can store stuff here. Can bring some armor here, it looks like. Nice. Fizz top grill, huh? Nuke mine. Nice. Oh, hey. All right. That's everything I think in this room. This is cool. I need to start spreading out my pow power armor and putting it all at all these locations. Another fusion core. Elevator. What? I've got my own elevator. My own shitty bathroom. Yep. Anything in there? No? Okay. Well, let's go on up. Just so much stuff. Nuka Kula Victory. Some caps. Some tickets. Alright, looks like we're supposed to go this way. Some more of these. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's some thunder. Alright, oh. Oh, so that's where it brought me? Damn okay. Song stuck in my head again. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'd look what was sure, up in there. Guns, 
but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Somebody's spine. Some bobby pins. Automatic assault rifle, huh? Alright. And you know what? I think this is as good a time as any to end the video. This is a lot of fun exploring Nuketown. I always have fun exploring. It's a huge part of the game. And there's so much to find and do. It's insane. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed it with me. If so, you know what to do. Hit those buttons down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And with that being said, I hope y'all have a great one. And I'll see you in the next video.